Okay, here we have our finished scissor lift. Very simple design. Okay, first of all, the actuator back here. These actuators are very easy to find on lazy boy chairs and other furniture that people are th constantly throwing out. They adjust the chair. So I just find, find an old lazy boy chair, take it apart, get the actuators, and good to go. It's better than paying a few hundred for it. Everything here is pretty much scrap metal. Now the way I designed it, these bars, they're all the same size. So it could be 14 inches, could be 16 inches, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14 all 14 inches. The bottom one's 14 inches, 14 inches, 14 inches, 14 inches on top. And what they're done is I weld them side to side here, across from each other. Now that could be bolted if you don't have a welder, that's fine, right? And the idea is one is on one side. So you have this bar here, as you can see, is on this side. And now the wheel is riding on this bar versus the opposite side. You have no choice in the matter. This bar here is on the opposite side and the wheel is on the right side. So this works out perfect this way. And that way it's all 14 inches or if you want to make it bigger, make it eight, they're all 18 inches, whatever. It's a very simple design. Here I put a hollow tube, weld the two nuts to it, half inch bolts to hold the, bolt, the wheels in place. Now you could use a threaded rod right across, there's no problems there. These wheels, where do you buy wheels? Well in this particular case I use a steel metal hole saw over here. It's a very heavy duty brake drum. They throw these away, just drilled out four wheels. Problem solved. And they're heavy. The top wheels I decided to go with nylon. I had some nylon, so I went ahead and used the nylon. But here as an example, I could use a plastic 2x4 to do the same thing. So you get these and turn them as you wish. It's a piece of nylon. So Using a hole saw, you can make any wheel you want, and it works out really good. You could use plastics or metals, wood, whatever you want. It's a simple solution. I think I've described everything on this here right now. The build is pretty straightforward. I don't have the exact accuracy, but use the hand drill, hand grinder, and a sawzall. It should be so it's, it's not one of these projects where you see the guy well he's got thousands and thousands of dollars worth of equipment and does a beautiful job but we don't all have that kind of equipment so this is an easy solution easy way to do it and there you go it works And like I said, those actuators, they're free if you just look for them. People are always throwing out sofa sets on the side of the road. Thanks for listening to me. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope it makes sense to you. And good luck with your project. Thank you. Bye.